Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well tonight we're going to do the Christmas pudding cake again and we're going to do a pull apart Christmas tree, okay, which I've never done before, but you know what, it can't be that difficult, can it? So, uh, but we'll see, won't we? So in the kitchen, I have Simon and I have Karen in the kitchen. Hello, Hi Simon. Hello. Karen. hello, hello. So we're going to be in for a great night as per usual. So I was saying to well, John said to me yesterday, oh, two weeks from now it'll all be over. I know. He's right, isn't he? It so is. we get we work up to it for months and months and months, and in two weeks it'll all be over. Yeah. There we go. And then we'll, then we'll have a week to New Year, and then that'll be all over, and we start the whole New Year again. So, um, well, so it's exciting times all starting our New Year. Exciting yes, times. Yes, exactly, because we're going to start our new learning hub. If you haven't heard about our new learning hub. Um, just go on and watch last week's live on Thursday where I talk about it there and please sign up. So the early bird offer, John has decided to keep the early bird offer on until the 31st of December. The reason he's done that is that we've got loads of messages of people saying it's payday next week. And of course we haven't taken that into consider consideration when we launched it. So people say it's payday next week, it's payday the week after. Some people want to give it as gifts. So they don't actually want to let their family member know about it yet. And uh, a few other things. So we just thought, do you know what? We'll, um, we'll see if we can hire this chair. Should your chair hire the mic, Karen? Yeah. It's a season. So. Don't, don't just swap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very little down there. Sorry, I like Karen muck about with the chair. It's a season for giving, isn't it, Carol? That's how we keep the early bird yeah. on. That's it. So uh, I don't even think I'm much higher on this. But anyhow, we'll see how we go. Right. So... Let's get on with doing a cake anyhow, and then we can, so you can ask Karen questions about the new hub. And uh, lots of you are still not in the hub. We're nine members away for, from five, from, we're nine members away from 500 paid annual members in the group, which is great. So uh, really very, very pleased, very, very proud of you for having faith and confidence in sugar and crumbs. Right, so first of all, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the board here, just to stick my... So we've got oh, good over 200 people watching us all shouting, hello Carol, hello, hello Simon, hello me. <laughs> hello, hello me. Hello no, me. I'm not saying hello to you, Karen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hello me. <laughs> all right, so I've just stuck my cake on there. Let me get the marzipan out and start rolling oh, the marzipan. Putting the poxy Christmas tree up while trying to watch us. Who's that? <laughs> Put on the brown. She says, the putting poxy the poxy Christmas tree. Christmas tree. <laughs> Why has she got a poxy one? <laughs> I know. Well, I must admit, I've done years and years of stress with Christmas trees. Decorating them, going, going choosing a really nice, beautiful live tree. And even when we go to um, Ireland with John's brother, and um, we go and visit John's brother, we have to go on this trip down to the field and you get on the tractor and you've got to go and pick your tree to be cut down. Here I go to the local, whatever it is, man with the wagon on the side of the road <laughs> selling the trees. Oh, yeah, man in the van. Or the garden centre and try and pick a decent tree. <laughs> then I come home, got it in. Then the frigging thing, you've got to think how you're going to feed it and look after it. So anyhow, last year, a lovely lady in the group actually, Kim Tilling, says, Carol, because she's been to my house, she said, your roof, your ceiling's quite high, isn't it? I said, yeah. So I've seen a beautiful tree. I said, have you? So she said, oh, it look gorgeous in your house. I went, just go and get it. Friggin' hell, I could kiss her every day for it. It's a very nice tree. It's <laughs> it a beautiful. very nice tree. She even delivered it. It was massive. I don't know how she got it in a car. But um, but she did. And uh, I love it. So that's gone back up. And it's just all fairy lights on it. Beautiful. I don't have to do nothing to it. And that's all I've done for Christmas this year. Jasmine and Ruby have just been. So they're very happy with it. Right, so... Poor John, it's getting eerie cold. Is it? What? Hey, 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 Mr. Craddock. <laughs> I know you lot are rude here, aren't you? I didn't get it at all. Didn't even enter my head what you'd all been saying. You're so naughty. And those of you who are not in the group, you will not know what's going on. But uh, I, it's gone right over my head. It's only when Karen came in this afternoon and she said something and then it twit, twit. <laughs> well, thought, oh, somebody Lordy. just said, when's John's live? So I said, after January the 6th. So John says, we've still got to decide which year. <laughs> is John watching, is yeah. it? Yeah. scared to death. Oh dear. Well, anyhow, those who are not in the group. So basically what John has said is uh, once we reach 500 paid members, 
then he will do a Facebook Live in the group. So by the way, this is just warmed marmalade. I think last time I put it on, I didn't warm it, so it was a little bit blobby. But uh, So I've just put this in the microwave, warmed it up. Let's clean my board a minute. So this cake is for Laura in the office. The last one went to the old folks' home and they loved it. In fact, one lady said, oh my God, Christmas cake, do I have to share it? And I went, yeah, you do. So we can't share this one, can we? This no, is, this so is Laura's in the office. It? Yeah, well, it's stuck together on there now. Oh, sugar. That was clever of me, wasn't it? Right, girls, so you know what I'm like. Stuck together on there. I always say, it's a matter of scored by ice anyway, so no, hey? one, no one can see no. it, anyone can see I it. I rolled it over and it's friggin' stuck to me. There it was, all beautifully and nice rolled over. And then I've lent it over and then stuck it, made a right mess of it. Anyhow, what Laura doesn't know about won't armour. Not watching. Not nobody, watching. No, nobody got telling tales. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't Anyhow. watch this, Laura. If you just started watching, stop watching. Yeah. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Let's get my knife. Cut it round. Dead easy, this to do. So Charles Lee said, "It's okay, Carol. You just demonstrated to John how it's not done." <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, so John has agreed that he will do a Facebook Live. But do you know what, girls? And I said this to the girls in the group today, and boys, by the way. Um, I said this today. You know when you're a cake decorator, isn't it? Do you, do you ever feel that all your friends just look at you and they think that you're just swanning around the kitchen, prancing around with a little frilly apron yeah. on, having the time of your life whisking because up cakes? Because you love doing it. Like, um, yeah, you love doing it. They don't take into account the cost of the ingredients, the time, the energy, the stress, everything. They just think, I see it all the time, what a lovely job. A lovely job, I'd like to do that as a job. <laughs> and, and then they talk to you as though, like, you've no brain or something. And uh, so, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Get stressed out about it. Right. So, have we got enough brown here, Karen? I don't think we've got enough chocolate brown here, have we? So, oh. um, so Kerry Ann said, thanks, ladies, for the shout out a couple of weeks ago. Tell her husband to buy a Christmas gift. A parcel's just arrived. Oh, has it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like. Good girl. But she can't look. Obviously, I think the husband has whisked it away. Yeah. There we go. Just thinking I might not have enough brown here. See how thin I can roll this. Can we pick it up a bit? Yeah, we can. Yeah. We've got a bit of marzipan with it, anyhow. It's a bit of black with it, because then it'll look like we've just like oversteamed it. Hey? It'll look like it's been oversteamed. Oh, cool crack. I'll be doing some stretching with this, won't I? I should have got some more brown sugar paste from the uh, warehouse. I didn't think. Did you think? Did we not think then? No, I didn't eat right. them. Yeah, Karen, I've got plenty of that here. Yeah. So I'm just going to mix, it, mix a bit of black in with this. Even when I got out of the cupboard floor to get you ready, I got it, I thought, oh, I'd give it a good moulding. And I thought, oh, there we go, we've got enough taste there. Forgetting about the size of the cake. <laughs> right, let's do that. Let's get it all mucked muck in. So we've got brown and black here going in. To be fair, it will give me that nice marbled look that I'm looking for. Anyway. And Linda Gribble said, thanks to Karen Naylor and John for sorting my problem that afternoon. I'm going to leave you alone now. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I don't know what that is. If, if some of you have paid by invoice, you need to send me a message as well. I need to speak to the office to get them to send me all the people that have paid for their orders over the phone. Let's hope I've got enough here now. Sheila, it doesn't matter what kind of mess John leaves behind in the kitchen after he's done his life because I'm here to clean it up. Yeah. Anyhow, so going back to this, right. So I'm sat in Nando's with John on Saturday and he's already mentioned a couple of things that he'd like to make and I thought, yeah, all right then, yeah, you might get away with that. Yeah, yeah. So then he's come up with this cake. He said, hey, found me cake. Deadly serious. Found me cake that I'm going to make. He showed it me and he said, sure, seriously, he's dead serious about it. And he said, uh, that'd be all right, won't it? It's dead easy. 
I went, John, even I can't achieve straight edges without the bridges room ganache and kit. So, so I said, but good luck to you, have a go. <laughs> so he said, well, it, and this, he was deadly serious. He said, it can't be that hard. So I went, no, go on, crack on, have a go. And yeah, we put a video up of what he's going to make in the group. I think now he's actually scared now. I said, listen, you're going to need Claire Corbett's help. Well, I'm not being funny. I watched the video, my mouth fell open. I thought, wow, <laughs> really? <laughs> hey? No, I don't know what he's doing. Have you not seen it? No. Oh, God. So, anyhow, I don't think he's going to get out of it. He tried to get out of it, but I don't think you lot are going to let him off by saying he'll make jelly and jam. Jelly and ice cream. <laughs> jelly and ice cream. Yeah, jelly and jam. Jelly and ice cream. Ice and they'll buy Ben and Jerry's ice cream. He's not going to make the ice cream. He's not going to make the ice cream, no. Sorry, you're going to have to watch me hold this for a bit. I should have organised this before, shouldn't I? It's a bit like filling bags, don't we? Hey? Likes. <laughs> well, after we went live, Jasmine and Ruby turned up, and they've only gone about twenty minutes ago. So, uh... All right, hopefully we've got enough here now with this. <laughs> oh, you see, you seeing it? <laughs> Simon's now seen it. <laughs> yes, John's going to do that. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Simon. Are you, are, you filming, are you filming that night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I'm no good at rolling out, can't you? Right. So non-stick boards are back in stock, ladies. I sometimes wonder the professionals must watch at me doing things and think, oh, how's she doing this? She's making it hard work for herself. <laughs> I mean, I've now got, I've now got, I'm going to have to wrap this up and make it a circle. I've now got an oblong for a round. I never get <laughs> Who around. Who does that? Me. Do you, do you oh, not get around? No. I, know. I, 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 I either, I, when I'm doing a square, I get an oblong. And, or, or if I'm doing a square, I'll get a round. When yeah. I try and do a round, I am. Um, it's, it's <laughs> Who else is like that? Just got to remember to pick it up, haven't you? But you don't, you're sort of like rolling it and you're thinking, no, I'll just keep rolling. Exactly. What are the lovely pink balls on the shelf behind Carol, please? I love shiny balls, says Georgie got bald. <laughs> I don't know what balls do we have. It's our Christmas tree. It's our Christmas tree. Lee Carol made it for us. And then the nutcracker, you all like the nutcracker. Lynn Toffer um, bought that for us as well. And then have you seen the um, our door thing? That's lovely, isn't it? I don't know whether Simon can zoom into that. Can you zoom into that, Simon? That's gorgeous, that wreath. That's our Christmas wreath. And your evil laugh has just sent a few people over the edge there, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> was it an evil laughing? Yeah. <laughs> when he, wa when he, wa evil, when he watched the it? video... <laughs> That's lovely, that. Yeah, so that's a nice Christmas wreath, isn't it? Yeah. So, my friend's friend made that. I'd best move one of the baubles before Karen will have knocked it out. <laughs> I can't say a word, no. I'm not saying yeah. anything. Why, what are you saying there? No, just you before Karen knocked it. I can't say anything. <laughs> she, you, you don't know how many accents she's had in here today. Oh, my God. So, Caroline Clee's asking, will we still have access to the recipes if we can't join the pub? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course you can, yeah. Yeah. No, we still, look, see, I still haven't got a round, have I? So, uh, Edwina said on here, roll and turn, roll and roll turn. Roll and turn, that's roll right, turn. it is roll and turn. But mine's roll and turn gone square. It is roll and turn. Do you know what, do you know what? I can do it. Until I go live and then it's like... Just goes everywhere, doesn't it? That's gonna have to do. The good thing is you can hide loads of things on here. It's a good thing. Yeah, they like your Christmas wreath. I think it's lovely. And they've all said to Claire Corbett, please don't don't help John, they want the one he's worth. <laughs> <laughs> He's to be fair, to have, I agree with you, girls. He's got to have no tuition. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with oh, you. Oh, you rotten lot. 
So it doesn't have to go on perfectly straight, this. It's a Christmas pudding. Yeah, Claire just said it, it'll stretch. To be fair, I should have just done the brown because the brown was perfectly fine. So I'm going to do a pull apart Christmas tree as well. Looks tasty that though. That, that, that looks nice. Colour that. Yeah, it does actually, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It should come out yeah. too bad. Right. Right, let's put that on there and then I'm going to get off a couple of little black bits and make some little black berries, uh, little black currants, Not, are they currants, raisins? Raisins, sultans, whatever you want to put yeah. in it. Let's make a couple of them. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it now I've made this so And dark. yes Janet, you still have access to all the Facebook lives that have already been shown. Yeah, if you don't become a member of the Learning Hub, the YouTube, all the Facebook lives that are on our page are there for you to, ha to have forever and um, they're all on the YouTube link as well so and we will be coming to the page we're not going to desert you so like when we've got people in like Karen Davies, Marion Frost will come and do lives Karen will come and do a live on there I think maybe once a month we'll get Karen to come on and bake on there um, I'll be popping on there with new products the learning hub, the idea is keeping everybody together, keeping Sugar and Crumbs customers together, all the things all in one place. And um, I've done a demo in the group today and I think they love it. From, from the feedback that came back, I think they absolutely love it. It's easy access for everything for them to find. You know, they get special offers in there. There's all sorts of things going on in there and will be going on there in there in the year. So it's worth it, do you know what I mean? And the early bird offer that's now been extended um, you know, that's going on now until the 31st of December. Um, you know, it's a bargain. And all the people who buy that one uh, in January, in their first order in January, after the 6th of January, they qualify for a free goodie bag. And I've worked out that the free goodie bag is about £17.50. And don't worry, it's not icing sugar or sprinkles. It's a very nice goodie bag, actually. Yeah. Very nice. And we'll be using it after 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 the first month once they've, once they've gone out and I know everybody's got them. Uh, we'll use it in one of the lives then. So just make up some little. Curries. So hi to K to K Lewis and newbie. Have I got any more newbies Ooh, hi, watching Kay. tonight? Absolutely yes. Is there any more newbies? So these might might go in. They might not. So Carol's there. She's just been mixing some black up to make like currants, Michelle, and she's sticking them all over a Christmas pudding. So Susie says, "Oh, it's been extended. I may still be able to join now." Yeah. Well, we've extended it due to the you know we've we've had a we've had an uptake of five hundred minus nine, so we're we're short of nine people to make the five hundred. And um, and then because we've had a couple of messages, like I say, payday, um, it's not something I can afford till just, you know, after Christmas. I want to get it with my Christmas money. My husband wants to buy it me for Christmas. So, you know, there's a few people there. So John said, you know what, let's just extend it and I've done. Because the ideal thing would be if we could get a thousand people in the group, which would be amazing. So... Uh, but it's going to be great fun and you can join any other time of the year so we're going to leave it for the first year so our annual membership i'm not covering this with currents because that's how that's my currents now so i just answered because remember this is meant to look like a christmas yeah. pudding mandy it's um it's with 30 pound of goods off the website and all the vouchers won't be included What's that? If, you, if you buy 30 pounds worth 30 pound order is, is, is it vouchers as well or if no, you no, you've got to buy goods. Yeah. Yeah. No, because the vouchers are e vouchers and they don't qualify because they've already been paid for. So that voucher's been bought. Technically, if we let you use that, you've not actually bought anything. You've just spent your money in advance for a voucher. Um, you've not bought anything. So you'd get the benefit from that and then you'd get the benefit again from the goods. So it, do it doesn't work like that. Right, so there you go. I haven't said that, you could ask your family to buy you e-vouchers and then you could uh, just clean up my board. I'm just doing this really, really fast 
just because I forgot to put my currants in last time. Right, I'll put that in there. That can go in there. Now, if somebody, buy, if somebody uses an email to get for Christmas, yeah, they can use that. They can then. use that against the order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of husbands have messaged to say they want to buy that. They want to buy. Do you know husbands are really funny? They message me and go, Carol, what does my wife need? And I've got no idea. <laughs> What does she need? I've got, I've got, I don't know. I don't know what she's actually got in the kitchen. And they go, well, she buys off you all the time. I go, well, yeah, well, no, but I don't, I don't actually look at the orders. <laughs> so I don't know. So uh, they are funny, aren't they, men? Yeah, because when just say she thinks she's going to get a couple of vouchers for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, a few of you have asked for vouchers, haven't you? So let me just do a couple of red berries. Excuse me, mucky hands. It's down to the red paste. Down to the black Tell and brown paste. Tell me about paste. it. I was, I went, I'm, I'm going to go wash my hands in a minute. So, uh, Elaine says, my Sam does that, doesn't he, Carol? He does. <laughs> he is one cool, but I didn't want to shout out any names of husbands. <laughs> but yes, he is one of them. And it's funny they ask. And, and the thing is, I can't actually go through your orders because it would take forever to go through your orders to find out what you've got and what you've not got. So I, I just recommend that they buy a voucher. It's easier. Simon's quite good though, he does listen to Elaine and uh, hears what she says that she wants and then he'll get on and message me straight away and go, uh, uh, Carol, I go, right, okay then. So Atusha, uh, you can get onto the Learning Hub if you've bought it. She's in the Hub. She said, how does she get onto it? You, you're actually in the Hub, but you don't need to go there tonight because the live's here on this page. So what you need to do, there was, I did do a Facebook Live in there to show you how to pin the hub. But on Facebook, okay, just go to your search on Facebook. Come out of groups, come to your own, your own section where your news feed is and everything else. Go to search and then tap in, um, make it, bake it, decorate it, and you'll see it there. And you can actually pin it as one of your, one of your favourite groups. I think I should do a session on how to use Facebook with you or not. Should I do a session? <laughs> I did a little session today. Did you enjoy that, those who watched that? Right, let's make some green holly leaves. So Pauline Privet has paid for the new hub. Will she yeah. get a notification like we do now when the new hub starts next year and will it be on here? Right, okay. So the new hub, that's where all the lives are going to be. Okay. So I think you're in the group, Pauline. I think I put, did I put you in this afternoon? I seem to recognise the name. I might have just added you to the list. But if you haven't joined the hub, ladies, you need to go and join the lub. Uh, lub. <laughs> did you notice what happened at the end at the end of today? Did it say? Oh, you were already following I was it, already, weren't you? Yeah. Mm. Did anybody who wasn't following it um, take it? Because we're not sure how you're going to get your notifications. Helen says she found this afternoon very helpful. Very good. Karen's brilliant Facebook session earlier. I learned how to join. And a, a lot of people saying it was really good this afternoon. Yeah, good. I'm glad you enjoyed that. So let's roll this out for my Holly. Done. So I'm just speeding along with this one just to get it done. Oof. And then we're going to use the drippy cutter. So cornflower pouch. some bits of holly so John's just put on there anyone who's joined the new hub will get emails in advance of our first live event yeah well we go live on it on the 6th of January at 7 o'clock so that's when you need to know and we'll be every Monday and Thursday in that hub eventually you'll set your alarm clocks and you'll know so let's just do some holly in a minute so Elaine says, Karen, tell Carol I got a notification she was going live in the hub this afternoon. Oh, well, that's good then. That's good. Because me and Karen are members, we don't know because we, we've... 
don't know. I can't yeah. remember if I got a notification. And Karen Holt, she's clicked the three dots and now she's it's set allow notifications. Right. So she knows she's clicked the three dots and she's going to get notifications yeah, now. That's so that's the perfect. way to do it. Yeah, so Karen had a little look. So when you're in the hub, if you watch, um, if you go up to the three dots at the top, um, I forgot to uh, emboss that one. I left it on the bottom. Um, it asks you if, um, if you want to follow or unfollow for notifications. So that's good, isn't it? But you're going to love it in there. You know, the ladies in there already are very excited. And not everybody was watching today. What did we get up to today? It was about 100 we got up to, Karen. In oh, it was there. over 100. Was it was over 100. 100, yeah. Yeah. And we've got 460 60 odd members in at the time when we did that live. But, um, but if you're in the hub, you need to go and watch that live. Just so you understand everything, because I don't want you missing out on any offers or anything like that. And I think all the ladies, that they're, they're making comments now of how useful it is to them. And how beneficial it is, you're going to get your money back over the year. <laughs> Kathy, Kathy Eaton said, she had to laugh this afternoon. She was cutting up some moulds. Hubby looked at me and said... You doing? Oh, I know. I, you know what? I don't know why you all do that. We had this conversation <laughs> last night because I think Sarah Webster had put all hers on and she'd cut them up. And I know Claire likes to cut hers up, but Karen, no, not a chance. No. We're not having it in this kitchen. I, I can't do with all that untidiness, all those bits of things put away. So, you know what? There's no reason why you can't do it without um, having to cut them. Well, Kathy's husband said, Oh, suppose Carol told you to. No. And she says, Flipping out, don't let Caroline say that. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> you can go back and tell him right away. I'm, I'm, I'm an anti-banner about cutting moulds up. <sighs> Does Claire cut them up in the sessions, does she? No, Claire brings hers that uh, brings hers from home that she's already cut because yeah. she knows she's not allowed to cut mine one no. little bit. But we do it all, and you never have had to cut them up. Karen, Karen's made everything. I keep pressing that when I'm talking. I keep pressing that without uh, embossing them. Claire said it's easier to store them when they're cut. No, it isn't. Easy. They're all easy. over the place. Easy. It's not easier to use them. They're the same. They just pop out. You're yeah, just Claire. letting everybody know that you don't know how to use a mould. I know, Claire. I know you only cut yours up because you've seen my face when you've got all the my moulds in, don't you, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girls. You don't need to cut up your moulds. Are you bored yet? Anybody bored about cutting up these? I should have done this earlier, I know. If anybody wants to come on and go, hurry up. I've seen you cut enough leaves now. Right, okay, I think that'll do. If I need a few more, right, they can all go over there. You've got quite there. a lot of leaves there for a pudding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's lovely. So then let's do our um, our white sugar paste. So Select Island is back in stock. <laughs> what, Karen? Mr. McFarland is worse than filling bags. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to go wash my hands. I'm going to use white sugar paste now, so I need to wash my hands. Don't worry, John. We're all looking forward to your experience. We've got the frilly apron ready for you, the Sunday girl's apron. <laughs> Now I know you love getting in that. <laughs> Not a chance. Not a chance. I get him in a white butcher's one. Not a chance, Karen. <laughs> Not a chance. Are you still waiting for DPD, John? Oh, by the way, let's talk to you about DPD. So DPD offer a next day service. At the moment, that next day service is off. It's still showing it on our website as a next day service, but it's not. It's off. Nothing to do with us. DPD are under massive stress, as are all couriers. So there's no guaranteed next day deliveries at all. In fact, they've not guaranteed next day delivery. And even though they say next day, even then, it's only 98% that they say they will get through. Because things always do happen somewhere along the line. So uh, I don't need that much sugar paste. I don't need that much. So... Um, you know, but at the moment, you've no chance. 
Um, all the hubs are full. They've got massive problems. Um, our local hub is called Middleton and apparently they're stacked to the roof with parcels with a two to three day delay. They can't pick up stuff. So now, I don't even know if they picked up, John will just tell you. So the lads were waiting at work because they always come at four o'clock. And then one of the lads has stayed till six tonight. And then they've been ringing DPDC where they're coming. And um, uh, John's had to go down there. So I don't even know if, if DPD have actually still arrived yet. Do you know what I did tonight? What? I've put enough white out to cover the cake. <laughs> Is it you? It's me. <laughs> I've put, I've thought, right, that's enough white there to cover the cake there. Because the cake's nice. If it's forgetting you're covering the cake, you're yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. I know. I even needed it for you as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was glue and stuff. Right. So, cling film. This is what I didn't do last time. Put cling film over it. I completely forgot. Yeah, it gives that lovely rounded edge, doesn't it? Yeah. So, I'm still going for a thick layer of uh, snow. So, are there any <coughs> notification on nozzles? Yes, they've been shipped, they're on the way. They should be here this week. So, the um, when I looked at the tracking, they were, I forget which country they were in now, but um, if I can have a sneaky look in a minute, I'll have a look to see where they are. But they're meant to arrive on Wednesday. Wonder Dust? Uh, Wonder Dust, we didn't have another order, that was John, thinking he'd placed another order. But he has now placed an order and I think we're just waiting to notification if that will get dispatched in time for Christmas. I personally don't think it'll get here for Christmas. Fudge but chocolate. Uh, none in with the supplier. There you go, that's the three questions that I've yeah, asked. There you go. None in. Nice that fudge, isn't it? That's beautiful. Glad to see that you're liking it. So there we go. Could have done this a bit thinner. Oh, you don't go mean with the brandy sauce. Hey? You don't go mean with brandy I like sauce. It nice, I think. <laughs> Do you have brandy sauce, you? I've never had brandy sauce in my life. I see it, but I just don't fancy it. You know, if I, if I do like a what? bit of Bailey's sauce on it. My, no, oh. mine's got to be custard. It's got to be pus custard. Bailey's cream over with Christmas pudding. Yeah, Simon's with me on that one. Uh, do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> no. It's got to be custard. Pardon? Anything it involves alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol. <laughs> Andy butter, you know. Yeah. Any of those. Excuse me. Let's give it a bit of help now. So we've got towards 280 people watching us now. Oh, very good. So Kerry Ann's asking, why do you use cling film, Carol? Uh, well, you don't have to use cling film. It just gives it a, a smoother edge. I'll just show it in a minute. Right. So when you when you don't use it, which I didn't use it the other day, it made it quite sharp, you know, squared off. Where this, I don't know whether you can sort of see it actually. Yeah, we can see it. You yeah. see, it's rounded. Yeah. 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 So uh, just stroke it, girls. Like that. There you go. I'm going to get our tape then. Now you can put a bit of water on it, but to be fair, it's quite sticky, the sugar paste, so we don't have to. But if my sugar paste was dry, I would just add a little bit of water on to stick that on. But we don't have to with this, because this sugar paste underneath is quite soft. And you can stretch it, make it a bit longer if you want. So can you see it's a bit smoother, not as sharp now, yeah, as nice the one that. that I did before. Stroke and stretch, says Andrea. Stroke and stretch. <laughs> Absolutely, we learn how to stroke everything in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. Right, just let me go and um, get some kitchen roll. Oh, here we go. One second. So Christine likes a bit of rum sauce for her Christmas pudding, Simon. Mm. Pardon? A bit of rum, a rum sauce. Yeah, let me just get some water a minute. A bit of rum sauce. No, 
then we'll get our Christmas ca our cupcakes out then and do our board. So it's just a quick live tonight showing you how to do this. Dead easy, isn't it? So all I've got is a little bit of water in here. Just stab it on there. In fact, did I actually put any water in there? Yeah, I did. So yeah, I've got, if you need any, you've got some there as well in this pink. Oh, cup. have you? Right, yeah. thanks very much, Karen. So we'll just twist a couple of those around. Sit on top of each other. So you're all excited about the new hub then? Do you all think it's a good idea? Pauline Fain said this is her first Christmas with sugar and crumbs. Oh, is it? Ah, yeah. I think it that. Emma from Harlem Horses says, great idea, Suzanne Maruth, it's a brilliant idea. Viv says she can't wait for it to start. No, I think it's nice and it'd be us all together, won't it? It'd be all our sugar crumblies all together. Because the thing is, when you do the lives on this page, you know, yes, it's, they, yes, it is sugar and crumbs people, but there's also a lot of people that, you know, they're, they're not really sugar and crumbs followers or anything like that. And you know what? I want to get it to be a bit more personal with us lot, you know. Breeder, breeder, breeder. I've been sat on my own in the new hub waiting for you all. Breeder, <laughs> was you not listening this afternoon? Hey. Oh, and by the way, we've got your parcel. We've yes. done a little video. We've got a few parcels of people we today. Did. Breeder, thank you so much. Yeah. We've not opened them because the last parcel we opened, everybody said, no, it's not Christmas yet. Yeah. I mean, I can't wait. I used to wait. I used to always wait. It used to be as good as gold. But I'm not anymore. Man, I'm going under my tree when I get home, and I've got those other things for my mum, and she'll be getting those at weekend. Yeah. So let me yeah, just everyone's that there. everyone is looking so forward to January, Carol, when yeah. the new hook starts. Good. I I think it's the best decision we've done. And Robin Morrison said it's the second time she's watching us live with us. She's here to learn. Fantastic. So I don't know if you can see that what I'm doing there actually. No, not. Sorry. I really was mingy on the water. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> God. Are you going to water me to Carol? <laughs> well, I am. I think that's it happens. <laughs> I think that's a half a teaspoon of water in that jar. <laughs> I don't even think I put that in. I don't know what I was doing. I think I just turned on the tap that fast. <laughs> oh, that looks great. That. Cool. Laura's going to be made up with that. Yeah. So Laura always gets the biggest Christmas. If anybody's wondering, we've got two Laura's in the sugar and crumbs kitchen so there's laura who comes and bakes for you and there's laura who used to do the lives years ago um she doesn't do them anymore. i don't mean do the live she used to film them she had simon's job um so she's always run our office for us and then and then she's gone over there full time she actually now runs production as well so now she's gone over to run production and trade and yin is now the office manager and we've taken on a new lad in the office as well called Tom. He'll be a bit scared to answer the phone to you women for a moment. So when you when you do get him, be nice to him. He's got to be gentle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you won't get him for a while because he's learning postage. So uh So Anne says she loves this cake. She's bought the drippy cutter, she got the chocolate sugar paste to have a go, and then she's bought the select island as well. Never used it before. Oh, you'll like the select island. There's the silk. And there's the uh, platinum. You know what? I love both of them, to be fair. The platinum's a bit stronger. The silk's very soft. They are. They've all said they're going to be gentle with Tom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know when Tom will be let loose on the phone, but he will be let loose at some point. At the moment, you've got Karen Naylor and Yin, who, who you're dealing with. Right, so that's our cake. Oh, they love it. They think it's absolutely gorgeous. So let me see that love arts, ladies and gents, coming up the page. Do that cake is... And how quick did Carol do that while she was chatting to you? So let's turn it round so you've got your holly on there. So that's going to Laura in the office. Love arts is shooting up here and John says the counter's been rigged. It doesn't go past 499. Does it go past what? 499. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're freaking scared to death now. Right. I'm sorry. I've got no sympathy for him. Only nine right. more people, John. The fact that he actually thought that's how easy cake is, I'm amazed. And he's getting, the thing is, he was very sincere. Why do you not think I can make that? Even I wouldn't have a go at that. That's what I said. <laughs> Here we go. Right, okay, so let's get our Doesn't board out now. Yes, yeah, please. So we that's that one. Well done. they've all said it looks amazing. It's absolutely lovely. Well done. That's done. I didn't I didn't cover the board. It's got a nice silver mirror board. Now to be fair, what we're going to do now with this pet this one. Let's make our Christmas tree here. So on this one here, this is a, a, an oblong board. I'm sure you can see it's an oblong board, can't you? So uh, we're just going to pop on some cupcakes. Let me get them on first. Sorry, Carol, you like that one? Yeah, no, just, uh, I'm looking at that thing there, trying to get onto my chair when I'm looking at what someone was saying there. So let me just get on the cupcakes for a minute. This is a dead easy one for me to do with the kids. There's one bit of piping that takes a little bit of time. Okay, so I'm going to do that there. So Anne Reynolds is saying, please tell me where I have to go to register my order number. So is, it, is this for your learning hub, is it? Have you paid for the learning hub, Anne? There's our tree. Does that look? That looks odd. That that, that looks that, better, better, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that looks better. Right. Okay. Let me get rid of these. I can go back in the freezer, Karen. Tom will be doing a live soon. Who? Tom? Tom. I'll tell you now. You're going to have to work hard to get John doing a live. You definitely will not get Tom in. Crikey. He's like the shyest lad there is. He'll do a proper runner. He will. Not a chance. I'm, I'm laughing at myself thinking about him answering the phone. Tom not in the memory of Matt, no. <laughs> he is such a shy, he's a lovely, lovely lad, but he's, he's very shy. He mutters under his tongue all the time, he doesn't even say anything, <laughs> does he? He just mutters. <laughs> so Tom is, so Tom's, uh, he's the new boy answering the phone, says well, uh, Nicky. <laughs> yeah. Well, Tom's been working with us now, he started before Covid, didn't he? He did, he did, he did. Start he did. COVID, yes, he did, he did, he did, yeah. yes. So um, he started with us before COVID and he worked in production. Then he went into warehouse and then he became one of the supervisors. And then we have got to do a bit of changing round in the office because Laura's got to go back to production now. So we're just going to use a bit of buttercream on there. So because Laura's now got to go back to production, um, she's moving out of unit one, going back to unit six. And she's going to be looking after the trade account because our trade website is up and running now. So, are we doing the prize draw tonight? Yeah, we, we are. So there you go, Mandy. You've not missed a prize draw. Mm -hmm. And hello, Elmer from Houston, Texas. Hello. Yep. So for the prize draw, Karen Davies uh, kindly donated fifteen of her moulds. So um, that's got a double wrap on it. Let me pull that off. I'm dragging out. Karen Snailer said, Shy, I'll soon draw him out of his shell. <laughs> and Lynn, Lynn Woodward went, Oh, that Tom. Yeah. You know who Tom is. 
<laughs> yeah, not Thomas Lynn, Tom. Yeah, so Laura's got to go back to Unit 6. She's um, got a brand new website, a trade website that's being launched. So she's got to concentrate on the trade. And then because she's doing that, Yin is in the in the office. So they need another assistant. And uh, I think it, I think we're very too easy to say, you know what, the girls will do it. And I think the boys are very happy that the girls will say that they'll do it. So I'm not sure how Tom felt about it, that it's become his new job. But... So what colour green did Carol use for this buttercream? So I've used leaf green and forest green and I've just mixed them together. Well, I haven't mixed them together. Karen's mixed them together. And I told her to just marble it a bit. So we put, we did leaf green and then we threw in some forest green. We've used a colour splash. And how long did we cook the Christmas pudding cake for? Um, well, you cooked it, was it an hour and a half or was it two? Two hours. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, me, me, I was trying to tell the thing, yeah, it was two hours. Uh, and I also used um, a flower nail in it as well. Yeah. So um, this board, you could actually cover this board. We haven't done it. We haven't covered it. Um, I only thought about covering it just before I come live. Sorry. So um, it was too late then to do it. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to take out one of the uh, bigger nozzles out of the PME um, Savoy piping set. And um, I've got it cut and ready. So, and the one that I'm using is a Gem 2M. Um, so we're using that. Yeah, so going back to our nozzles, they should be a re the due date is Wednesday, but we'll, uh, it won't be Wednesday because we'll have to do, um, they're arriving in the UK then and then we'll have to pay clearance. Uh, clearance, we'll have to pay customs. So I'll have to chase them then to get the customs bill and um, get that paid and then um, we'll be in. So where's the price draw for the Karen so Davis So on models? the Nifty Nozzles page, where you are now, Sugar and Crumbs with Nifty Nozzles, um, if you do come out of the live, okay, there's a post, and it was last Monday when Karen was in. So don't forget, we've done several other lives. We've done Tracy Mann. Tracy Mann was in on the Tuesday. Karen Griffiths was in on the Wednesday. Lee Carroll was in on the Thursday. So you need to scroll past all those lives, and you'll see that I wrote a post there that said um, for the prize for you to add your comment on. Okay. So I'm just going to go all the way around. Now you can leave it like that if you want to, or you can sort of squidge it. Uh, where's the palette knife? Just one second. You can, if you want to, smooth them together but I'm not going to smooth them together because I actually don't like them smooth together I actually quite like those little swirls on there so um, but I'm also just going to fill in here a minute I'm going to fill in there so make your buttercream really lovely and soft and then the next one now this is going to take some time ladies to do this so this is the time now where you might get bored and want to make yourself another <laughs> brew or you might want a wee or you might want to go and have a chat with the neighbor because this job's going to take a while so this is the gem two three five and can you see it there it's the large uh, leaf tip uh, not leaf tip the large grass tip okay not the small grass tip the large grass tip so we're going to fill up the bag I'm going to go along. Now I could put this in a big piping bag, but you know I only like the little piping bags. I can't hold a big piping bag. So I've done this in, well Karen's done this marbled for me. Uh, it wasn't intentional, I just said look, throw that colour in, throw that colour in, and voila, there you go. And I just said to so don't mix it properly. Let me wipe the screw so, my hands. Is the PME coupler the same as the Wilton coupler? And when will it be in stock, please? Right, um, I need to speak to PME. Trying to get those couplers. You're talking about the giant coupler. So the giant coupler is trying to get them. The PME one I prefer because that has two heads. Um, the Wilton one only has one head. Um, and that's because the, the, three, the one with three heads fits um, different size nozzles the, of all the large nozzles. Um, and it's them who don't usually have any in. Right, okay then. So we're going to start here. And in fact, no, we'll start here, okay. So we are just going to squeeze. I'm going to pull our grass along. Now this is quite a bit of a boring job, girls. So chat along.
today and you get your first layer on. So what size coupler fits the new hologram nozzles please? Um, the new hologram nozzles, they will all fit your normal twist and click apart from two of the nozzles which will be, in fact actually it might be three, there? there's six nozzles in the set isn't there? So your 2E, your 1M and the 1... Um, it's the one two, I can't remember what the next one I ordered, oh, I changed it. We've got a 1M. Yeah, so we've got a 1M, we've got a 2E, two e. and then I changed one because yeah. it was the 104 yeah. and then now it's a bigger one. But I changed it because the one, the R104 that we'd got, it was like a cross between a 103 and a 104 and it was a bit wider. And um, I was trying to talk to the manufacturer that I wanted it a bit slimmer. And the, oh my God, Any chance you could do a side view for them? They're asking for a side view, no. Right, yeah, I'll do it sideways. Do it sideways. So, let that out there. Right, okay, don't you worry girls, I'll, I'll angle myself at the side. So Lee's, Lee's joined us, hi Lee, hope you're enjoying your break. Oh, it's happy wedding anniversary time, isn't it? Absolutely. It was yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. So it can be untidy, this. Don't have to be nice, neat and tidy. He's been walking around with his sugar and crumbs carry bag all day. Have you? <laughs> and why have you been doing that then, Lee? I'm now seriously concerned. I fill up my bag. Yeah, it was Claire's anniversary yesterday as well, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Yeah. I didn't know that either. John and I have been married 10 years this year as well. Been together 18 years on Christmas Eve. Uh, not Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. I'm thinking of Barbara Runkle and she's getting married on Christmas Eve, isn't she? On Christmas Eve, is it? Yeah, oh, Barbara. Oh, nice. I think I don't know whether she's going to get married because she said to me she wants to get married at Gretna Green, and I got married at Gretna Green. Oh, nice. On New Year's Eve. So you can see that there's different colours of green coming through now, which is fine because it just adds with the cake. So do your buttercream as soft as you can get away with it. Yeah. Do you mind if I just turn it like that? Because I'm just at a bit of a funny angle there. Oh, you could put it's it making back my, was, Making my back twist. To be can they see it sort of where, the way it's yeah, going like that? It, yeah. That's easier. Lucy Lane, because her brother got married at Greta Green as well. Yeah. So Claire Hardiman said this is such a fab effect. Yeah, it's dead easy, isn't it? It's quite impressive as well. So, you know, decorate your board as well. Don't be lazy like we were. It's not that we were lazy, I just didn't think about it. Otherwise, if I thought about it, I would have had Karen there decorating yeah. the board. She's a wizard, Karen, at decorating the board. But instead... If you hadn't been so lazy, Karen. Absolutely. Yeah, if you yeah. hadn't been so lazy, Karen, yeah. Karen, it's all your fault. Doing this. nothing again, I know. Um, Not doing my job again. I know. Tracy Scribber said it's a great nozzle, that, Carol. Yeah, it's this 235 gem. You can use it for loads of things. I should use it for loads of things, really. <laughs> Kerry Ann wanted to get married Christmas Eve, but her mum wasn't impressed as it interfered with collecting a turkey. So they had to, they had to get married on the 23rd instead. Oh, God. <laughs> Funny, isn't it, how we choose our dates and stuff and why we swap them around? Uh, I bet that's the talking point all the time. It interfered yeah. with collecting the turkey. Was, I bet that was the most thought of turkey ever. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Who 
who's going to have a go at one of these so the kids can do this with you? It's really good. It's, it's really effective. We should do this as one of the little videos for Rob. I can sit and watch us do it. Oh, Heather Hammond. Her yeah. mum sent him a text to say she was at Gretna Green getting married when she was oh, 75. Yeah. Did she? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, when John and I got married there, we were, we were well, I was, John don't really talk to anybody, I talk to everyone, but um, the amount of couples that were just there getting married on their own, that had no one with them, and um, and I said, well, I've got no one with them, they said, no, I'm not telling anyone, and that all they did was send people texts afterwards, hey, I got married, so that looks all right, doesn't that looks it? Really nice, that. Yeah, so let's turn it right way up. Turn it right way up now, right, let's get some baubles for it, so you can pipe baubles on if you want. But I'm going to put a couple of these on. So Claire used these for the mermaid class the other week. Not mermaid class, the live that she did with Simon. So I'm just going to pop a couple of those on. Leslie thinks it's a great pull apart cupcake idea. Yeah. And Lynn says she might even manage to make that one with her grandchildren. Yeah, it'd be great fun. The kids will love it because it's something that you can show them to do. They'll love it. I'll pop that up there. Put some pink ones in here. I hope, you didn't, I hope you weren't saving these for anything, Claire. <laughs> I'm using them. <laughs> so, uh, these are just big chocolate balls. These are our chocolate balls. But I um, can use any chocolate balls. And they're just coated in our wonder dust. So, can you see the little shine on them? Lovely, isn't it? They're absolutely loving it, Carol. I think it's fabulous. I think that'll do there, won't it? So that'll do on there. Same, amazing. The love hearts are flying up the screen for you. Hey, look at that. It's only 8 o'clock. We haven't finished doing it yet, Karen. Crack it. Get good at these eyes. <laughs> You're doing great now, aren't you? Uh, great. great 8 o'clock. Well, let's have a drink of my coffee then, aren't Isn't that 8 o'clock and you've done two lots? Oh. Wow. Keep doing a bag filling. Hey, I need doing a bag filling. That's what it was. <laughs> I've got some great ideas for showing you things next year. She said it's no trouble, she's going to make some more. <laughs> <laughs> the same, oh wow, there's just gorgeous shiny balls, says Georgia. Georgia, oh. you can't think about shiny balls. Who's now. this? Like Georgia. Ah, oh, Georgia. A Georgia, they're balls. <laughs> My mum said it looks so much better than just spreading it with a palette knife. Yeah, absolutely. And like I say, it's some of the kids can do it. It's really dead easy. Well, I think that, that will do that, won't it's it? It's absolutely lovely, that. And it's just it's something that is just so simple that the children can do with you. And then that great effect that they can just all take a cupcake. Do you know, like on Christmas Eve when you all get together and you do things with the kids, don't you, on Christmas Eve? It's the only day of the year we do that with the kids, isn't it? <laughs> But you know what you can say, right? Let's let's decorate the cake. Yeah. So, for so when your gingerbread houses are filled down, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If your gingerbread house stand then fails, Karen stayed up. Karen's was freaking brilliant. Her stayed up. Um, but, uh, anyhow, but that looks all right, doesn't that it? Let's have a look at that. Let's lift that up. Really there you go, nice. Sam. It does need a star or a fairy on top. It does need a star and a fairy. But I didn't think about that. But you can. I'm sure you lot can think of something, can't you? So there you go. Dead easy. How long did that take to do, Karen? Well, I think that took you about 10 minutes, if that. Yeah, so there you go, really dead easy, that. And then if you wanted to, you could get some of the, um, ooh, let's just have a look, the large sparkle. Get the large sparkle out of the Wonder Dust. Let's find it. And let's bring it up, large sparkle. I'm going to mess up Karen's box again. Oh, you are right. Me. So it's large sparkle. So let's get the Christmas plug out. So, large sparkle. Well, Mandy's daughter's just video called her while you're doing this, and she, Mandy's daughter said it's brilliant. Ah, oh, yeah, which <laughs> Mandy is that then? Mandy Harvey. Oh, is it? Right, very good. So, look, I don't, don't know whether you can see the glitter or not. This says she was just about to say we want sparkle. Yeah, very good. Absolutely. That is really nice. And then whatever's on your hands, just dust off. So it all comes off. Don't wipe your face now because you'll have it all over your face. 
So can you see the sparkle now? You can see it on the hollow leaves, definitely. You can see it on there, but I can see it on the cake there now. That's absolutely it. fine, yeah. Coming on the cake. There you go. Oh, there we go. Right, okay then, let's do the draw. Okay. And then we'll have a chat about the uh, new hub, shall we? Because I've done my demo now. How many cupcakes did we use, Carol? Um, um, so I used two for the thingy. What's that called? Trunk. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cupcakes. And how good does that look? Really easy, isn't it? Do you like that? They're saying it's amazing. Yeah, I'm have to go it's, wash it's amazing, beautiful. Tracy gets sparkle everywhere, don't we always? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mandy's going to do one for Christmas party at her daughter's. Anne yeah. says they're lovely. How much buttercream did Carol use? Well, to be fair, I asked Karen to make a kilo and we haven't used that. No, we've so gone 500, but I bet you've used 500 grams. Yeah, so I had a little bit of brown in the fridge anyhow and then I asked Karen to make me a kilo and I reckon we've got half a kilo left. Because you know what I'm like, anybody who's in my classes know that I'm always getting Karen to make more. <laughs> and then when she's made it, I've got, I oh, don't need it now, Karen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so half a kilo, I'd say. And yeah. I love the effect using the grass nozzle. Yes, it's nice, it's a it's nice a idea. Really that, nice isn't nozzle, it? that. So that nozzle is the gem, so it's a long one, look how long it is. Wait a minute. Do you want to get out the small grass nozzle, the Wilton one? Yeah. Don't get confused with using the Wilton one. Because the Wilton one is too small. You'll have like backache, seriously. Is that the Wilton so, one? No, no, the small one. This, oh, that, oh, oh, wow. Yeah. So don't get confused using the Wilton one. So the Wilton one is that big, look. Look, you see? Don't get confused using that. If you use that, you'll start crying. You go, how the hell did Carol McFarland use it? So that's the Wilton 233, I think it is. Yeah, 233. And this is the gem, and I think it's the 235. So you want this one, this gem 235. Right, okay. So let's uh, have a look at the draw, and then we'll talk about the new learning hub, and then we're done. So what's going? we'll talk about what's going on in the kitchen this week. Yeah, Claire wants the green. Don't worry, Claire, it's yours. <laughs> Great. That's yours, Cat Claire. Right, so let's move that out of the way a minute. Sue I'll Burgess, brilliant idea using the grass nozzle. Helen said they were going away at Christmas week, but now they've cancelled it, so they're going to have time to play in the kitchen. Yeah, brilliant. And it's something nice, you know, even if you haven't got the grandkids or the children to do it with, just do it yourself. Your friends are going to love it. And then what you do then is, when you when you just get your first friend to pull off the first cupcake, so just go off, pull them off. Be nice. Uh, Amanda Casey's saying, can I ask you, if she phones the office, can you pay for the early bird in two or is it a one-off payment? It's a one-off payment. We don't do it, but go on to PayPal and you can do pay in, for, in three, interest-free. So do it that way. And it works out something like £16.62, yeah. I think. It yeah, is, something and like that's that. interest-free. And they tell you 10 days before. We're not doing the payment scheme. Can you can you imagine? We'll just get battered with it. And um, it's not it's not worth the administration side of it or the management side of it. It would, it would actually probably... Karen Naylor could possibly resign <laughs> if I put her through it. So um, Michelle Ward said, isn't there a nifty nozzle like grass? Would that work if you've got the nifty nozzle grass? If you've got the nifty nozzle grass one, the large grass one, which I've not sold that for a long time, but if you had it from the original set, yeah, that'd be fine. Because there's a fine grass and a large grass. So, you, you know, if you're one of the girls who bought nozzles off me in the early years, you might have that nozzle and that'd be fine as well. Um, I don't know whether a lot of you lot are being hacked, but today I've had about, I've just got one now come through, I've had this one there. Have you seen it? It's you in this video. Oh, yeah. I've had about five of these today. Yeah. So I've had one off Sarah Reed that's just arrived now. And then... Um, Jewel, no, a minute. It's not that one. I'll have to go through them, but I've had about five in the last 24 yeah. hours. But I know I've been screen shooting them and, and then I've been deleting them. Don't touch them, don't open them. Right, so let's find the live and do the draw. So, have you got a pen and paper there, Karen Naylor, or have I got a writing down for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so let's go and find the page. I'll, do it, on on. My, I'll do it on my notes, then I can. Yeah. So. Go down and find the post. 
So Karen Davies, when she was in last week, she agreed to give away 15 of her moulds. So what to do is, if you win, you need to come through to the office, which is info dot sugar and crumbs at icloud.com so i'm going to put it up on the screen in a second for you so it's info dot sugar and crumbs at icloud.com um, um because karen's given them away we're just going to put them in your next orders or we'll post them royal mail but we won't post them until after christmas so at the moment the postage the post is a nightmare so i'd rather put them in your order so if you've got an order coming in i'd rather or you've got an order waiting let's say you've got you waiting for those nozzles i'd rather put it in there if you're going to become a winner because um they i can't tell you how bad post is at the moment and like i said with dpd if you're going to choose dpd as an option we're going to get the developer to change the wording on it tomorrow but there's no next day deliveries with dpd I think the wheels have well and truly fell off at the DP up. Right, let's just see. Where that post is. Yeah, because don't forget, I did two, three lives on Thursday. So, because we had two with me and then we had Marion Frost in. So you've got to go back a bit. That page is just loading up. So we're before Tracy Mann. Right, there it is. So I posted it six days ago and it said, who enjoyed the FB Live tonight with Karen Davies in the kitchen? Karen has very kindly donated 15 of her beautiful moulds. Why would you like to win one? Okay, so what you, the rules were, and I'll be able to tell who's done them as well. So we've got 181 comments, but only 68 shares. So what's gone on there, girls? Did you read the rules? So it's one comment per person. Pop over to like our page, which is this business page, and Karen Davies' page. Who went over and liked Karen Davies' page? Share the Facebook group live with a friend, with a friend, and I don't know what I've done there, but me, not class groups, but it should have said with a friend, not class groups, okay? So, um, because we don't like the, the classes filled up with um, shares and stuff. So there's only 68 shares, but there's 181 comments. So come on, girls, you need to get sharing that. Some people have commented more than once, haven't they? Yeah, have they? share. Yeah, yeah. Is that what they've done? Well, they shouldn't, really. Well, even still, that doesn't well, make sense. they've not shared at all. Yeah, they've not shared at all. So, girls, if you're going to enter these competitions, you really need to read and do what it says. All right, that's why they're there. Anyhow, I the reason I don't... What I can do is... Do you know what? I'll do a few off the shares. So the reason I don't like picking a winner from the shares is that if you've got your privacy settings on, I can't see who the winner is. But technically, when you do a share, you should actually do it from the people who shared because they followed the rules of the competition. OK, but because um, Karen has made given away so many molds tonight, you know what? I'll do 10 in the shares and five on the comments. If you already win a mould, you'll only get one prize because we want to share the love with everybody. So, so all these people have been very good and shared. Um, the other thing in shares, some posts may not appear, appear here because of their privacy settings. So sometimes if you've got your page on private, 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 even though you've shared it, it yeah. may not come up Donna in Jeff here. Donna just said that, but uh, you said a while ago that shares don't show if your privacy yeah, settings are that's set. that's right, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll do because um, th because this one's this way we'll do this right. Who's going to put their finger on here? So we're going to do ten mm -hmm. of these. So are just you just going to stick it. your finger on, Karen? I'll come, in. come in. Right. So Karen, I'll come and stick a finger on here. Right. So who's the first one? Jane Langdale. Oh, I know Jane Langdale. So Jane Langdale, congratulations. So what did she say there? The Wanderer returns. Yeah, John's here. That's Lovely mould. <laughs> <laughs> so Ch Jane shared it with Emma Rylance and she went, Lovely moulds here, Emma. Okay. So let's uh oh they're all talking about your live, John. They can't yeah. friggin' wait. There's so, a lot of excitement when you see what you're making. That's and amazing. I don't know why you're talking to him over there. Did you see how much he laughed at you when he saw oh, it? Oh, I was listening. Hey, so, yeah. <laughs> When you start paying the wages on Friday, John, just remember how he left it. Yeah, Simon was there, so he needs a lot more cameras. Margaret Banks, and Margaret Banks has one. That's number two. All right, let's keep going. Right, stick your finger in my... Oh, Marie Constable. 
Well done. I know all you lovely ladies. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ladies. at you, Karen. I'm no, just don't look. <laughs> just you. Just stick your finger on there, Karen. I haven't spun it yet. <laughs> Tweedledum and Tweedledee, there right, they go. I never mind Tweedledum, are you? Right, go on, Karen. Right, who's that? So that is Julie Foster. Congratulations. Right. Louise Rogers. Congratulations. How many have we got there then, Karen? That's uh, I'm going to go near five. the bottom. Oh, sorry, it didn't stop it. It didn't stop it, it just slid through your fingers, gone. Tina Pine, congratulations. Let's do another one round the bottom here. Oh, get your finger ready, Karen. What's the draw for? Oh, Tina Can't Pine again. Oh, no, sorry. sorry. <laughs> the wrong one. Go on, do it again. Marcia Lord. There you go, no Marcia. Oh, I know all these lovely ladies. Right, let's get in the middle a bit. If you've already won, you won't win another one. You'll only win one. Oh, Jane Langdale, she's already won. Oh, do you know what? Oh, I've spun it now. Karen, it didn't stop. Right. Have you got a crease of fingers, you? No. What oh. did you pick there? Who did you pick, Debbie yeah. Hargreaves or Paula Brown? Do you know I'll what? pick both, I think. I, we'll go for both. So Debbie Hargreaves. between the two. Yeah. So Debbie Hargreaves and Paula Brown. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got one more on here, yeah. haven't we? Right. Go to the top. Tell me one. You, whenever you oh. want. Who's that? So you're right in the middle there. I've got my finger on there, look. You're right in the middle. So that is Susan Hannum Nee Norman and Sue Merry. Oh, you just miss your mother. Sorry. She is. <laughs> carrying in trouble when she gets home. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got so now that's one, two, three, that four, 11? five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven now, yeah. Right, so let's go to comments now then. So we'll go to How comments. Is that? Fifteen. Oh, Fifteen, okay. yeah. So all comments. Right, let me get them all up. If you've already won, I don't know what you're all saying. Simon, do you want to have a look see what they're all saying? John's so, here, can, oh John, you have a look yeah. at the oh, comments. Sorry. I don't know what they're saying. Right, Karen, whenever you're ready. Right, that was Paula Brown. No. Oh, June Barrett June underneath. Barrett, that's June right. Barrett. So watch Karen's live tonight, showing her amazing moulds, because Paula Brown's already won. Yeah. Uh, would love to add to my collection. They are one of the best, best moulds you can buy. Quality of the product is just brilliant. And thanks to Sugar and Crumbs for bringing these moulds to our into our lives. That's a nice that's post, nice. isn't that's it? Right, let's go up to the top up here then. Let's see what we can do up here. So we've got any more comments there? No. Right, so I'll go up to the top, up to the top, up to the top. Oh, right, we're going to have to do it, do again. it again. Right. <laughs> I've not got a great rat to see that. Well, do you dry your finger because you just put it on a wet cloth right, there, there now. There we go. Nope. Ready? Who are you on there? Well, we're on that. shares, 68 shares. Well, as it happens, yeah. Joanne White's underneath. That's fine. So, Joanne White, I don't know Joanne. Yes, I was watching. Brilliant as always. Love Karen and her moulds. I by far the, love Karen and her moulds are by far the best around. Getting quite a collection, but would love one of the new ones. She isn't giving away new mo new ones. She's giving away a Christmas one, a Christmas mould. Okay, so let's go up again. Let's Just really spin this. Just two more now. Right, from the top to the bottom, top to the bottom, top to the bottom. Just whenever you're ready. Right, this one, Claire Rooney. Oh, I was talking to Claire on the phone last night. So, it was 18 days before Christmas, and although all the site members were getting excited about Karen Davies live at night, well, she wrote a long one. I'm not reading all that out, but anyhow, she's won. <laughs> okay. War and peace. Oh, aren't you glad you wrote that lovely poem? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, go on. That's one way to win. You're scrolling and through it, and you can't miss it. Julie Foster. Yeah, but I didn't put on that many we got, comments. We've got Julie Foster already. Oh, it's Julie Foster Julie won? Julie Foster's won. Are you sure? Uh, uh, Julie Foster won the third one. Oh, did she win the third yeah. one, did she? All oh, right, undo it there then. That was a long right. time ago. Hey? <laughs> What's that? It was ten ago, that. That was a long time ago. 
Right, right. Okay then. Well, I would say that you were really yes. got one mould left because yeah. you were down there. Yes. Susan Ivy, love the really? live. I don't know who Susan Ivy is. Uh, would love to win one as I am a newbie to these molds and not very confident. But Karen made it look so easy. So there you go. Congratulations, ladies. That's fifteen molds. So congratulations. Uh, so well done. So all you need to do is email the office info dot sugar and crumbs at icloud.com say that you're a winner karen's got the list here maybe karen naylor's taken the list as well and then we can either um pop them in your next order or we will pop them in the post by um royal mail we'll see which way, way that we'll do it It'd be better for us to pop in your order because little parcels are getting lost at the moment and i just don't want any stress over it so uh, let me just show john my cake john did you see my christmas tree cake what do you think? I missed that because I was driving Did you miss by. it? Well, you see, this Very is the good. type of thing, John, when you said you were doing a live that you should have thought about doing. But don't worry. We're really looking forward to your... <laughs> you should have done so. You should have asked me what should I do, shouldn't I? <laughs> we were having a private conversation. You stuck it, you stuck it in, the, in the group. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I was so shocked at how genuinely you thought you could do it. But anyhow. I'm, I'm quite confident. What do you think of our Christmas bud? No, we're confident, actually. We're, and, and, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you've already said you tried the apron on, that's fine. Yeah, you can wear that great. pink frilly apron with, with, with my love. Absolutely. So I, I, I can go down in style. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good thing is, you don't have to do it until after the 6th of January because that group doesn't open then. So let me just show you the new group, girls. So some of you are wanting to know where the new group is. And it's uh, right. Oh, there's five members pending. I'll sort those out afterwards. Right, so can, can, can we see his little face? <laughs> show us how we get to that from you. From right, you. okay then. So if you are trying to find the group, when you have your, um, you you have this type of thing here, which is your front of your um, settings. So here you'll have your name. So if it's Margaret Banks or Jenny Powell or whoever it is, you'll have your name on there because there are business pages. So that's Sugar and Crumbs with Nifty Nozzles, Blossom Sugar Art, and that's the Russian Piping Tips, the original designer of the Russian Piping Tips. So they're all my pages as well. So you won't have them. You'll just have your name, okay? And then at the bottom, you've got News Feed, Watch, Groups, Pages, Notifications, right? So, um, what, and then up there, you have a little search bar. So just go into the search bar, okay? And just, uh, right, make it... Bake it. See, it's coming up already. Do you know for me? Okay. Decorate it. That's because it's on my thing. Decorate it. Yeah. And then when it comes up, you'll see it. And it says sugar and crumbs. So just click it. And then it takes you through to the page. Now, if you haven't joined, it'll take you through to the joining page. You must have your order number. There's so many of you that have come through and your order number's not there and you've not answered the group rules either. Now, I have let some of you in because I actually have a full spreadsheet of everybody's name on there. But some of you, that it's difficult for me to let you in because you're not using the same name on Facebook as what you paid for. So then I can't let you in. So if you've applied to join and then um, your name on Facebook is different from what you paid it with, I can't let you in. I, I don't know who you are. So it's very important you have your order number. It came with your order. So when you pressed pay, you got a notification from us with your order number on it, and that is your membership number, okay? Once you're in the group, there is a live. And I always go, imagine, you know, YouTube and Facebook are never happy unless they're taking a, my front picture with me with my gob open. So there I am having a drink over my can of Coke today. So there's a live there in that group. I advise you to watch it because it tells you everything about the group, what's going on. I feel as though I was very clear about it. Um, everybody seems to love it today. They're really happy with what's going to go on in the group, how it's going to be run, um, all the learning bits, where it's all going to be stored for you. And it's actually really very, very exciting. And um, I don't think I've ever been so excited about a group as I have yeah. been this one. And I've actually never seen a group built like this. And the content this group is going to have is amazing. Um, so we're calling it a learning hub. We don't want to call it a Facebook group or anything like that we're going to call it a learning hub all right and um 
and it's going to be amazing you're going to love it and lots of you don't join because you're not ready to join yet I'm almost sure over time you'll want to come and join because your mates will be in there and you'll be wondering what's going on you'll be wondering where we are and let me tell you now over the year you'll get it back you'll get your money back just in offers yeah. We do do, I mean, you can do on the pay on free on PayPal, but you yeah. also, we do a monthly subscription and a quarter subscription. Yeah. So the early bird for the, so at the moment, the group, uh, the, the learning hub is going to be £99 per year, but because we've just launched it, we're going to do it 59 99 So it's not going to go up this year to 99 We're going to do it as 59 99 and then we've done an early bird offer of $49.99. Your subscription, even though everybody's getting in early, your next payment on the annual will be the, will be the 5th of January 2023. So everybody who's paid now, they don't have to pay again now until 2023, the 5th of January. The, the reason you're in early is just so you can sort of get yourself all excited, know where everything is, so that I can go in there and do the live like I've done this afternoon. And I'm building everything up in there. They've already had a hot tip what's going to happen. And they're all quite excited about Absolutely. that this afternoon, yeah, weren't they? they really were. And um, there's a discount in there that they was really pleased about. And then when I told them how they could get a better discount, they're even more pleased about that so that's definitely worthwhile and um, what goes on in this group stays in this group it does not get shared and I'm going to do a post about that what goes on in here is here in this group so not on this page I will feel very comfortable as though I'm amongst friends and that's where I want to be I want to be with my sugar and crumbs customers who are supporting us are with us in the group and I want to create that real nice community of customers now that doesn't mean we're ignoring the customers who don't join the group that's entirely up to them we'll still be looking after them we'll still be doing page lives on this business page so anybody who's coming in selling something like Karen Davies patchwork uh, like Marion from patchwork cutters is going to be in every month and we're going to call it patchwork cutters corner so that will be in both uh, the hub and on the business page Karen will come in every few months especially when she's got new molds she'll come on over we've got other people coming in and the same with us when we've got new products to show you we'll do a live in here and you know I'll get Karen maybe once a month to do a baking live in the group to keep you going and I'm sure I'll do it on, on this page and I'm sure I'll do a live as well um, so there still will be stuff going on this page because we don't want to lose all the activity but what I really want to do is bring the hub together that's where our community is that's where our followers is that's where our customers are yeah, yeah. anything you want to ask there Karen no, they're, they're just yeah. they're, 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 it's great they're getting it as a Christmas present they can't wait for it to start Absolutely. Everyone, everyone's very excited yes they are and they're excited in the hub as well which is nice to see so if you want to pay you can buy it on the website annually and you can click pay and free and it's interest free so we're not incurring any interest charges and like Karen said it works out about £16 and a couple of pennies per month and you get 10 days notice off PayPal to tell you they're taking the next payment you can pay monthly if you want to now the monthly payment is going to be 14.99 for the future but at the moment for this year it's going to be 9.99 per month so the ladies who've bought the monthly payment their next their payment um, even though they paid it now their month subscription starts on the 6th of January so they'll have to pay by the 5th of February and those who are on the quarterly payment their subscription starts on the 6th of January and then they'll pay three months later which is uh, uh, February, March, but April, April isn't April. it? Uh, yeah. April the 5th. So they'll pay their next quarter one then. And we'll send you the subscription link for that then. We'll just send you the link so that you can sign up for it. And um, and it's going to be great. And I'm really very pleased with how many joined us. I don't know how many. We, we were nine short of 500 annual memberships. And all of you haven't joined the hub yet. So in that hub, we should have round about... Um, 550 when everybody's in if we only sell 500 memberships and when we came live I was nine away from 500 uh, because the rest of the people in there are the admins from the groups um, all the office staff are in there all the tutors are in there as well and Karen Davies and Marion Frost are in there Tracy Mann is in there as well Tracy Mann is going to be doing lives for you too so she's going to do them every other week um, when Tracy um, came into Sugar and Crumbs to do lives 
um, is when COVID happened and we put her on our platform and um, she was just keeping you occupied with painting and selling her classes. That's what she does. So she needs to make more classes and have time to do more classes because at the end of the day, Kate, uh, Tracy sells cakes for a living. That's what she does. So she has to fit in making cakes, decorating cakes and selling cakes. Then she has to make time to make videos for your online classes. Then she has to come and do Facebook lives. She's running around like a, like, like a, a maniac trying crazy, to get everything yeah. done. So she's now going to do every other week. She's put up a calendar on her page. So she'll be kicking off every other week from the 11th of January and what she'll be doing is she'll be doing a demo for you and then she'll also be giving you discounts for any new online classes so she'll be doing that so she'll do all her own offers and but you only get that in the learning hub yeah penny cat sellers will there be benefit discounts for overseas members Will there be what? Will there be benefit discount for overseas because members? Because we, because we, the be, there will be some discounts to you, but it will be, you'd be best off going in the hub and I'll discuss it in there because I don't want everybody to know out here, but there will be some to you, but it won't be, um, if you, if you are buying something and we can ship it to you, then we will, um, but um, it depends whether you want to pay postage for stuff. At the end of the day, the hub is there. There's quite a few overseas members who have joined, um, which is great. But they're, they're joining because they want to be part of that spirit. For 49 99 it works out at 50 pence per session. So 50 pence per Facebook Live. And that's only Sugar and Crumbs Lives. We haven't included um, Tracy Mann's Lives. And we haven't included any any additional extra lives. Because, you know, Karen and I, like, you know, we're thinking, oh, we're throwing another live this week. Um, so, you know, that's two lives per week um, over 11 months. Because um, it will be over 12 months. I'm saying 11 months because it's 96 lives we'll do. Because we will miss a couple of Sunday, uh, Mondays because of bank holidays and as much as I love you all dearly I'm not working on Christmas Day neither am I <laughs> <laughs> and I do love you all dearly but yeah. no I'm not like Christmas Day falls on a Saturday this year doesn't it but technically the public holiday is on the Monday so we won't be in to do the live yeah good yeah. so uh, if you want to ask any questions now is the time to ask questions but once you're in the hub now I see at the moment there is um, how many people are pending to get in there so there's nine pending to get in there but you know, there's one, two, right. So what I'll do is, so what I do is I screenshot everybody, let them in to save speed. But there's three people who's applied there for, and they've not put in their order number. And I have to decline them until they come back with their order number. So five people there. And the ones that um, have an order number, I do let them in and, um, I do let them in so but there's five five people there that I need to get their order number from so I'll be declining them watch them decline oh there's one just popped up so that one's just popped up now so I can agree with that one and some of you have done typos as well so um, you've done typos for your um, let's just see sometimes if you ping it again the order number comes up Some of you have done typos. I've gone to have a look and it's somebody else's name. And then some of you have um, ordered, like I say, some of you, one lady just messaged me before the live show. Oh, Carol, I forgot to tell you. And I think, I don't know whether she said it was her son, Wesley, or her husband, Wesley, or somebody had ordered for her, but a completely different name to hers. And then you guys, you'll order, let's say it's Susan Jones, but you may um, write it as your Facebook name as Sue um, Sue Baker um, because Baker was your maiden name and that's what everybody knows you as so then I'm like oh do I let that person in or not so I've been spending time sending messages to people asking them to confirm their order number so any more questions no that's Karen? it now that's lovely so that's it so we're going to finish off showing you what we made today really very easy i'd like to see this christmas tree because i think this is one of the easiest ones for you to make really and effective. this christmas this christmas cake christmas pudding is really very yeah. easy so i'd like i know lots of you brought the drippy cutter so it'd be great if i could see that for you and it'd be great if i could see this as well it'd be lovely yeah so that's a really easy live done isn't it half past eight so anything anybody else wants to talk about got any problems you want to have a little chat about you yeah <laughs> <So>. <laughs> or are we done <laughs> 
Well, lots of love hearts put up there for you, Carol. A few people have said uh, thanks for the live, brilliant live, and they've, they've gone off yeah. to have a to have a Christmas cake and a brew. Yeah, they're blaming the Christmas cake and a brew. <laughs> I'm sure I spotted some Christmas cakes over there. You keep your eyes off, off them. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but go and have a look at the memberships. They're on the website. So if you go to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to classes, you'll see them there. It says Learning Hub and it's got the classes in there. So go and sign up because I'm sure you'll be, uh, you'll be very excited that you've signed up and you've invested in it. You're going to love it. Yeah? All right then. Anything more to say, no, Karen? No, so we're back next. We are, oh yes, that's it, this week's calendar. So Tracy Mann is on tomorrow. Um, so she's in at half past six. And then we've got Laura in the kitchen on Thursday. And Laura is, <coughs> are you in? Wednesday night we have Jerry. Oh yes, sorry. <laughs> we've got Jerry chewing on Wednesday. Crikey. Do you know what it is? I can't get used to her coming in on a Wednesday yeah. night. Yeah, we've got Jerry chewing on Wednesday. So Karen's on comments on Wednesday you're, night you're with you. You're assisting, aren't you, Karen? I'm, yeah. ass I'm, I'm assisting on comments. Oh, yes. yes. Oh. So, so t tomorrow night, Tracy Mann. Uh, 7 o'clock on Wednesday is Jerry Chu. And then Laura is in. What Do you know what Jerry's doing? Oh, I know what she's doing. She's going to show you how to cover a cake and use smoothers properly. And me and Karen have got to make flowers for We're doing the cake. that Wednesday morning. Yeah. So uh, we possible. might make them tomorrow, yeah, we'll see how we go. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we, we've got to make the flowers and she'll show you how to make one and paint them, but we need to have them made and ready for her. <laughs> so she'll be doing that. So she'll be showing you how to do sharp edges on a cake on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, Laura's in and she's going to make a, a roulade. And I do know Elaine Lawson's watching this and Elaine makes it every year, makes it quite a lot. It's quite delicious. A roulade with the icing sugars. She has showed you how to make one with whipping it up. But uh, I've asked her to make it because it's just a fantastic light dessert for Christmas. You know, it's sometimes like um, I eat Christmas cake, but I eat it Boxing Day or I eat it late in the night after my Christmas dinner. I never eat it straight away. Um, but after dinner, it's always nice to have a little bit of roulade with ice cream in and Laura makes that. It's delicious. You're going to love it. Looking Any more comments? To, no, looking forward to this week. Yeah. Saying, you think John will be tuning in to watch Jerry and Laura? <laughs> Yeah, I think John's going to be watching all my eyes from now on. I think John's going to be phoning that woman on Instagram saying, can you give me a private lesson? <laughs> right, so ladies, uh, we'll see, well, I won't see you tomorrow, but we'll see you on Wednesday night. All right then, have a good night and go and join the hub. You're going to love it. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.